And that's where the hobbit is always wrong on his knowledge. Be careful of these guys that just regurgitate information they read when the visual of them is below average. He literally gives advice as if everyone out there is cycling gear constantly. I feel sorry for anyone who considers him anything more than a meme. Coach Greg, in today's video, guess who's back? Shady's back, or should I say, Mike O'Hearn, who's acting pretty shady, I must say. In this video, of course, again, he calls me a hobbit, says my physique, well, it's below average, that you shouldn't listen to me, that I just regurgitate knowledge, which doesn't work in the real world. And so in this video, I'm going to expose him. I'm going to prove to you how little he knows about essentially everything, including his blood work. And so at the end of the video, you're going to reconfirm and say, yep, I knew it. Coach Greg's right. Mike Ahern has no clue what he's talking about. The majority of society think it's consistent. Consistent. Just be consistent. Do your cardio every day. Eat healthy every day. You're going to find out in a short period of time, you're still moving backwards. And so first things first. So Mike Ahern says that if you eat healthy every day and do cardio every day, that in the short term, you're just going to move backwards really and so what he's saying is if you start doing cardio every day eating healthy you know things that i preach that your physique it's going to get worse in what universe are you from mike this is literally what we've been preaching we want people to clean up their diets to eat healthier to do cardio but you're saying no that doesn't work in the short term it's going to make you worse so i say do it consistently right over a long period of time that's going to set you up yeah and so what people are doing is they're doing things consistently wrong aka they're avoiding the gym they're avoiding cardio they're not eating healthy food they're eating junk crap ordering out and so what you're saying is that my advice to do 150 minutes of cardio a week and then to eat healthy that that's how I'm inherently wrong? Really? And so what should they do, Mike? And spoiler alert, he's going to tell you you have to stop doing cardio. You can only do cardio for perhaps 8 to 12 weeks, and then you need a six-month break from it. But let's see what Mike says in the video. You work out, you sprint, then you rest, you recover, you analyze, then you go again. You work out, you sprint, you rest, you recover, you analyze, maybe change it, and then go back into it. You're never sprinting every single time. Okay, first things first. How often do I tell people to sprint? Or do I in fact say moderately intense cardio? You know, zone two. How often do I tell people to do hit cardio? Pretty much never. Only do I tell some elite athletes that perhaps you guys need to do hit cardio. Perhaps twice a week. For the rest of you, just get in your 150 minutes of cardio. Moderate pace, not Grandma Josephine, not a slow walk. Something a little bit challenging. How is that bad advice? Do I tell people that they need to sprint? Do I tell people that they should burn themselves out? Of course not. In no athletics do you go 100 all the time, 365. And that's where the hobbit is always wrong on his knowledge. The hobbit's always wrong with his knowledge. Really? Well, like you, Mike, you're 54. I'm also a little bit older. Not as old as you, but I am in fact 47. Be careful of these guys that just regurgitate information they read when the visual of them is below average. Really? I'm below average? And so for all of you out there at home, if your physique isn't as good as mine, that means you're far below average. Think of it. Mine's below average. If you don't look as good as me, you're way below average. Are you sure that, Mike? I mean, I don't want to brag, but I do believe my physique better than probably 99% of the population. After all, I am a professional bodybuilder and I'm racing bikes on Zwift. And so I do believe I know a thing or two about looking good, feeling good, and so on. So if Greg is below average, aren't you insulting 99% of your viewers? Dude's living in a different universe to the rest of us. He literally gives advice as if everyone out there is cycling gear constantly. I feel sorry for anyone who considers him any Anything more than a meme. So yeah, Mike's a meme. Coach Greg actually know things. Actually study in university, master's degree, highest average, coach thousands of athletes. I actually set records, world records in powerlifting, Guinness book records, and I was an athlete, did triathons for 13 years. And since I stopped bodybuilding and powerlifting, I now raised bikes. And so who better to speak on this? And we'll get to that sprinting point 
but you can't sprint all the time. Yeah, can sprint all the time, but you most certainly can do zone two cardio all the time. And perhaps if you're an athlete like Coach Greg, you do zone two cardio, you know, three, four days a week, and then you go harder than last time during your bike races. That's what I'm personally doing. And he says, you can't go 10 miles every day. You're just going to burn out. I quite literally am riding my bike more than 10 miles pretty much every single day, oftentimes 20. And that's the whole point about these guys. I work out 100% every single day, burned out in two years. Or the guy that's, I do cardio six days a week, 10 miles a day or whatever it is. It's like, great, you're deteriorating your body. And so really, Mike, because I'm doing cardio six days a week, 10 miles or more, you're saying that I'm deteriorating my body, that somehow riding bikes 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 miles in a day, that it's ruining my physique? Did you in fact know that your VO2 max, you know, the ability to use oxygen, which is improved by doing cardio, that that's the number one predictor of longevity and that having massively huge muscles, such as the ones that you have, could in fact shorten your lifespan? That there is no advantage to being able to bench press 500 pounds with a reverse grip over benching 200 150 pounds with a reverse grip. And I'm talking about your longevity. And so really, Mike, if you actually wanted to live longer, what you would do is slow down on the lifting and speed up on the cardio. You know, get your heart in better health. But no, my blood work is perfect. My blood work is immaculate. You know, I have low blood pressure and zero cholesterol. Blood pressure is great. No cholesterol. That's right. He said it. He has zero cholesterol. You know, none. And so perhaps he's taking so many steroids. Perhaps his HRT doses are so high that his HDL is at zero and he thinks that's a good thing. Does he know anything about his blood work? And has he not watched my videos in the past? Did I not challenge him to show his blood work? It's one thing to say, yeah, I got my blood work done. Everything's perfect. Trust me. When in reality, did he get his blood work done? Is his cholesterol in check? Does he in fact have low blood pressure? How do we know he hasn't shown us? Should we just take his word for it? I mean, after all, we took the liver king's word for it. He was 100% natural, right? Oh, just 100% all the time, cardio all the time, uh, a low calorie diet all the time. It's like, all right. Cardio all the time, low calorie diet all the time. Do I preach people having low calorie diets or do I preach them eating at maintenance, at a healthy body fat percentage? And perhaps this is the 400th time I've said this, 15% body fat for men. And depending on your genetics, perhaps as low as 10, maybe as high as 20, somewhere within reason between your genetic set point. But Mike's making it look like, oh no, Coach Greg says you should starve yourself, that you should be shredded all the time that you should be killing yourself on cardio no i don't i've been saying 150 minutes a week the hobbit i love that your longevity is what i appreciate the most keep putting out positive vibes who's the hobbit Greg, of course, everyone knows I'm a hobbit. I've upgraded from being a manlet. To me, cardio is the single most important thing one should do. This is for blood and heart health. Without that, everything else meaningless. And according to the medical community, the minimum amount of movement, aka cardio a week, should be 150 minutes at a minimum, or high intensity cardio, 75 minutes week minimum. And so the medical community seems to support what Coach Greg is saying, 150 minutes moderately intense cardio week. I don't even preach hit cardio. And so am I saying you need to sprint, recover, sprint, recover? No, I'm saying get out there and move, find the cardio that you enjoy and keep doing it year round. So you go to the health and fitness world where the person wants to get in better shape. So they jump on the meal plan for 12 weeks. The person gives them low carbs, a deficit of protein, gives them an hour of cardio. And so he says in the health and fitness world, people keep preaching low carb diets that they should eat protein, do an hour of cardio every single day. Do I tell people that? Or do I tell people to be in a small calorie deficit, to lose the weight slowly, slower than last time, and then to main gain? Mike O'Hearn is acting as if you have to bulk and cut year after year in order to put on muscle and to be healthy. He's suggesting that people do cardio for eight to 12 weeks and then get out of there, pull back, slow down. And why? Well, because he does that. You know, Mike O'Hearn, he can do cardio for eight to 12 weeks, make dramatic improvements, and then stop and not do cardio for six months and then repeat the process. And after all, his blood work is healthy. So that's what you should do. You should just do exactly as Mike is doing. 
But is Mike 100% natural? Is he truly being honest? Does he actually have amazing blood work? Does he really have zero cholesterol? He doesn't have zero cholesterol. I can get to the most pinnacle physique in the world on stage in eight to 12 weeks. And natural, it's amazing. You know, Mike, a year or two ago, he said, you know, I put on 25 pounds of muscle. And I stated, well, you put on 25 pounds of muscle because you lost it when you went off cycle. I mean, think of it. How is he putting on 25 pounds of muscle in his 50s? Do you really think that's possible? Well, it is kind of. If you lost 25 pounds of muscle being off cycle, then you go back on cycle and you regain those 25 pounds. Do you really think you're setting PRs at 40 and 50 in comparison to when you're in your 20s? Really? Well, being natural? Well, he says it. Don't you want it? Don't you want to do what I do to set PRs when you're 50? Do you really think you're doing that natural? If so, you probably believed in Liver King, probably believed he was natural. You probably believe Michael Hearn is natural. And so what am I supposed to tell you? Believe what you're going to believe. What to believe? Well, we've already got the blood work back. Blood pressure is great. No cholesterol. Everything's good. The numbers are great, healthy. And so the numbers, they're great. They're healthy. Smile. Smile for the camera. Trust me. This is a trustworthy face, right? You can trust me. And so he takes six months off doing cardio and then makes amazing transformations in eight to 12 weeks, you know, while being 100% natural, the pinnacle of his physique at 54. Of course he does. All you have to do, hire Michael Hearn and you too, you can do the same. I would rather you hit those PRs in the later years. That way you can be that 20 year old again. I'd rather you hit those PRs in your 40s and 50s. After all, isn't that great? You know, wouldn't you want that to, to look like you did in your 20s and your 50s? Well, of course you did. And so all you have to do is stop listening to Coach Greg, take six months off cardio, perhaps do cardio for eight to 12 weeks while being 100% natural, buy my programs, and you're going to look better than me. Yay. And in the meantime, all you kids out there, you should probably get peptides, you know, drugs of which I don't take, even though I'm sponsored by an HRT clinic. I'm not on HRT. I just get my blood work done to find out how many carbs, fats, and proteins I should be eating. And remember, this is my smiling face. You can trust me. How cool is that? Wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want to set a PR at 50? Better than you were at 20? That should be everybody's goal. I know you wanted to be Jack when you're 20, but here's your opportunity. You can be Jack when you're 50. You are who you're listening to. And so just remember that you are who you're listening to. And so please don't go and hire Coach Greg because after all, he has a below average physique with below average knowledge. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And so although he says he's done all these things of which he can verify, you can look it up. Mike, on the other hand, you don't need to question him. You don't need to ask him for his blood work. You don't need him to prove that he's natural. You should just believe him because he's got a very pretty face and he's a meme and he, he smiles in a very nice way. Trust me, look, would I lie to you? Your coach or your mentors that you listen to, that's your pinnacle. That's as good as you're going to get. Really? And so Chris Bumstead needs to hire a coach who looks better than him, that's bigger than him, that does more cardio than him? Or could he not become better by just hiring someone with the knowledge, the information? And so do you really think that listening to Michael Hearn is going to result in this all-time pinnacle physique setting PRs in your 50s, looking better than you did in your 20s? Or could he might possibly just maybe be telling you what you want to hear, not what you need to hear? Do you ever think of that? That I actually tell the truth, that I'm being honest, that I'm explaining to you that in your 50s, you're not setting PRs compared to when you're in your 20s, that father time eventually comes for all of us. Well, perhaps not if you're abusing performance enhancing drugs, but they do come at a price. And do you really think guys who are this jacked, who are taking these things, perhaps not 100% natural, well into their 50s are going to live as long in a healthy life as those who do cardio year round? who prioritize their health, their heart health, that are improving their VO2 max, not just the size of their biceps. If you want to do cardio all the time, go do it. If you want to bypass the research, bypass it. And so Mike says, hey, you know, if you want to do cardio all the time and just bypass the research, then by all means, you know, go and do it. But the research says that you're wrong. And so if you want to listen to that hobbit, manlet, coach, Greg, you know, that guy that doesn't know what he's doing, that has a below average physique. Well, by all means, you can do that. But if you want to follow someone that's knowledgeable, that you can trust, then look no further than Mike O'Hearn. Weightlifting is number one, guys. If you're trying to do something for health. 
And so Mike's point, weightlifting is number one for health. The cardio isn't the case, even though studies show VO2 max a greater predictor than in fact your strength and muscle size. But well, let's just take Mike's word for it. Let's make you move forward to where you wake up every day and go, holy sheesh, my body's reacting really fast real quick. And so yeah, of course, if you let yourself go, you're not doing cardio for six months, eating unhealthy, become a couch potato, then yeah, when you start back that cardio, you do eight to 12 weeks of cardio, of course, every day and week, you're going to see major differences. And if you hire Coach Greg, this is not going to happen. Why? Because you always look good. Do I look way better today than a year ago? Nope. I look about the same all the time. Why? Because I'm always doing what I'm supposed to do. But Mike, on the other hand, he's going to say, this is bad. You should let yourself go, get out of shape, be a couch potato, save cardio for when you need it, you know, for three months of the year, and then get in shape for that. And then let yourself go back and forth, bulk and cut. Or you can listen to Coach Greg who says, maintain. Maintain a lean, healthy physique year round. Not single digit body fat, not stage lean, but healthy. And so my message, I guess it's bad. I've wanted you to be healthy, but I guess I'm doing it wrong. I thought you should do 150 minutes of cardio a week, but you should only do that for perhaps three months and then take six months off. And because why? Well, because Michael Hearn says so. And seeing as I'm clearly a proponent of improving your heart health, the number one supplement that I recommend, GO2 Max, the main ingredient, Anaben, it's recently been banned by the FDA in the United States. Can't buy it on Amazon, but you can get it on my website. This has been shown in double-blind, placebo-controlled human studies. That's right. It's not the placebo effect. It's not in mice. It's in human studies to have dramatic improvement in your cardiovascular endurance. Why? Well, NAD plus levels decline with your age, and NMN is a precursor to NAD plus. With more NAD plus comes more endurance. You have more energy. You feel better. Burn more calories. You go in for cardio. It becomes easier. Far superior than creatine, pre-workouts, and so on. This, the number one supplement I recommend. You're thinking... Oh, but I just want muscle. I don't care about my heart. Well, do you not think that improved recovery, better endurance, recovery between sets, you're able to exercise harder and longer? Do you not think that can translate into bigger muscles? Of course it can. And so it's not a PD. It's not banned by WADA. NMN is found naturally in food. It's not some artificial drug. But just like creatine, it's in too low of a dose in food to get enough of it. And so it's put into capsules. Please click the link in the description. Enter code GREG 10% off. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think of Michael Hearn? Do you not want to see his blood work? Does anyone think he actually knows how to read his blood work? Let me know in the comment section. Like the video if you liked it. Please press that like button right now. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. Watch one of those two boobs. Only one. I know you don't got time to listen to me scream it out that much. So one video for you. And of course, cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. That Circle Diet book. The Harder Than Last Time clothing line. Gotta check out those amazing clothes. Follow me on the gram. Greg Doucette, IP Pro. And until next time, I am out.